Last summer, something really weird happened. Anthony, a guy who has lived his entire life in a wheelchair because unfortunately he suffers from cerebral palsy, a disease that destroys the brain's motor function, contacted me to teach him how to attract women using the platinum dating system. Now I've coached guys all over the world, all different types, okay, from 40 and 50 year olds, Asians and Indians, people who've been divorced, people who've been on a dry spell for years, people who are out of shape, and all of them have been successful by using my system, okay, to predictably attract women and get many more dates, okay, many more beautiful women into their life, okay. But this situation was different, not only because Anthony was stuck to his wheelchair, but also because he told me he was a virgin, okay, and that meant he had no experience of women at all. Okay. I was pretty nervous to agree to help him because my reputation okay, and my 100% track record of being able to help men easily attract and date women consistently was at stake. Okay. All my friends were against this idea. Okay, but just to put the platinum dating system to the ultimate test, I invited him to attend my live boot camp training. Okay, now at almost every boot camp, I take all my students out to a nightclub to put to practice what they learn during the day. Okay, and what we do is we have a secret camera crew follow us around throughout the outing, okay, so we can later analyze our interactions with women to see what we did right and what moves busted our chances. Okay? And to be honest, the first night we went out, I was acting confident, okay, but I was shitting bricks. All right? It had been a grilling day filled with non-stop coaching sessions and anyways I went to the men's room okay to wash the tiredness and ner nervousness off my face but when I returned okay the unexpected had happened okay my jaw hit the floor I saw Anthony leave with probably the hottest girl inside the club that night okay and this isn't just me saying this okay we have it on video I know it sounds a little unbelievable Okay, and I have, but I have the whole interaction from start to finish on video, okay? Also, I've arranged for free discovery calls that you can hop on with me and my team of coaches to see how you can benefit from the Platinum Dating System yourself, okay? With the Platinum Dating System, you'll learn about the science behind attraction. I go over facts about brain chemistry that prove that attraction is not a choice, okay? It's actually automatic. Okay, because as long as you can trigger the right chemicals inside a woman's brain, you can secretly make her interested in you. Okay? Now I guarantee that if you apply what I teach you, women will never perceive you as boring again. Okay? And you'll never be confused and clueless around them again. Okay? Wouldn't that be nice? In fact, the knowledge I'll be sharing with, will give you a sort of superpower. Okay? And the next time you talk to a woman, you'll feel more calm, at ease, and totally in control. Okay? This will drastically improve your odds of being successful with women. Okay? Now, to be able to use the platinum dating system to your advantage, you don't have to be a tall, handsome dude okay, with a Greek god-like body who drives around in a Lamborghini. Okay? When you're on a free discovery call with me or my team, we'll share how people from all over the world, including Asians, Indians, unconfident men who are overweight, okay, guys who are not that good looking, guys who've been on a dry spell for more than four years, Okay, and even 46 year olds okay, have used the platinum dating system to be successful with women. Okay? Anyways, don't just wait around for a miracle to bring a beautiful woman into your life because okay? that's probably not going to happen. Instead, click the button below to book a free discovery call with my team and finally take control of your dating life. Okay? It's very unlikely that you won't be seeing this ad, okay? it's very likely you won't be seeing it because we open up these completely free discovery calls for only a few days every year. Okay? And if you've watched this video up until this point, you know that you need to stop hiding behind your excuses. Okay? So click the button below, book a time for a free discovery call with my team and never be confused around women again. We'll speak to you soon. Take care. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle and today I want to talk about a former client of mine from London okay, who was a virgin in a wheelchair. We got him to take a girl home on night one of the program okay, and I have video proof of that. I know it's an outrageous claim, I actually almost didn't even take him on as a client but I want you guys to hear the story and see the video footage. Okay? Before we continue, please like and subscribe and make sure you are staying tuned for new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, so this dude contacted me, uh, Anthony, okay, out of London, not to be confused with Anthony of John Anthony. And this dude's like, hey, uh, I'm in a wheelchair, like, I'm a virgin. I've talked to like three strangers that are female. He's like cold approach, like three strangers in his whole life. Okay. And <laughs> I was thinking about because on the, on the program, I kept telling this dude to roll up because that's how I refer to approaching in slang terms, but this dude actually was literally rolling up in his wheelchair. Uh, so I was actually like, this, this is gonna be a long shot. Like I was trying to be like realistic, or at least what I thought was realistic, okay? And what ended up happening was pretty shocking, okay? 
So this dude, I told him I'm not gonna be fucking easy on you just because you're handicapped or whatever. Um, I'm gonna just still run this hard, right? And surprisingly, okay, I didn't know what was gonna happen because okay, I hadn't had clients in wheelchairs before. Surprisingly, the two, the, the chicks were very receptive. Okay, I think he got actually an extra advantage because the chicks at first would think that something was wrong. Okay, because there's a guy in a wheelchair that rolled up to them and is like tapping them on the leg. They're not gonna be like, fuck you, right? And they're not gonna be like, sorry, I have a boyfriend, right? Like they're gonna be like, hey, what is it? How can I help you? Right, and then of course, and this dude was actually fucking hilarious. Like he was cool. He was born uh, in a wheelchair, or not, <laughs> not actually physically born in a wheelchair. He started off in a wheelchair from uh, early age uh, after birth uh, due to c cerebral palsy. He wasn't actually coming out of the womb in the chair. Uh, <laughs> but this dude, like he actually fucking killed it. Okay, he pulled a stripper and he pulled a different chick. Uh, from an actual nightclub, and then the one from the nightclub was, was pretty fucking hot, and it was just following the, the sequence, okay? And this is this is like one of my most favorite examples, following the sequence of my system and my methods. And this is one of my favorite examples because I get guys all the time that say, oh, I'm too short, I'm Indian, I'm Asian, um, I'm too overweight, uh, this excuse, that excuse, I'm too old. I just put out a video last week where I showed a 45-year-old guy, we took home a 19 and 20-year-old, okay, and in Warsaw on the program last year. Um, I have a, a short Asian client, okay, who came over to the United States not even speaking any English at age 17, okay. The short dude, ethnic, okay, had, he learned English but had an accent and he was able to bring home back-to-back -back chicks on my three-day program. We have it on infield footage, okay, I'm going to make a future video about that. And the, the, what's really interesting is like you have these guys that, that are they're so set on the fact, like looking at the, the older uh, gentleman's testimonial, okay. Oh, I'm 45, I don't think I can get younger girls anymore. I'm, I'm too old. Oh, really? Boom, 19 and 20 year old. Okay, oh, I'm Asian, I'm short. Okay, we have on infield of him pulling a six foot tall white chick, okay? Um, and then, you know, this guy was actually, like literally handicapped. This wasn't even just a mental block, like he was physically in a wheelchair. Um, I'm just gonna roll uh, some of the interview I did with him and show some of the footage. I just wanted you guys to see that literally at the far end of the spectrum you have a guy in a literal wheelchair okay and he's able to pull on my program that leaves no more excuses okay, for any of you guys and i already answered the, the i'm too old one we're gonna go over the i'm asian one and i actually have an indian client making out the hot chick on infield as well okay video hidden hidden camera footage and i'll show those clips <clears throat> so really um you guys have to stop making excuses about this stuff and um even, even this dude was able to kill it, okay? He just followed the process exactly the same. It didn't fucking matter that he was in a wheelchair, okay? Are there girls that don't want to fuck a dude in a wheelchair? Yes, who cares? Are there dudes that don't want to fuck short guys? Yes, who cares? That don't want to fuck an Asian guy? Yes, who cares? <clears throat> that, don't, that think you're too old? Yes, who cares? There's plenty of others that don't give two fucks about this particular hang-up that you have in your head, okay? And you know who does give two fucks is you, forever who's watching this, and that's what stops you, okay? And then you, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy because you don't see yourself as good enough, so the chick never is going to either, okay? I use the analogy, if you came into a, a car sales shop and the guy said, oh, I have this car that's all busted up and um, there's, it's just falling apart, right? And it doesn't work and this and that. Um, do you want to buy it? Of course not, right? Whereas if he's like, I have this shiny new Lamborghini, do you want to buy it? Then you're like, damn, let me check it out, I want to hear more, etc. So, <clears throat> point being, you know, I'll play some of this interview and I want you to really take away the lesson that even a guy who's literally handicapped can get results, can get laid, okay? He got a whole bunch of phone numbers that just defies all his, um, <clears throat> you know, expectations of what he thought was possible, all right? So if you found value, please like and share this video. Please subscribe below if you have not already for new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm John Anthony, take care and keep rolling. I was recording uh, some infield. We're gonna show those clips. Um, I'll probably pop it up during this video and the edits and also uh, show the full clip at some point in the video. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll let him give his, oh, but, okay, so you would only cold approach up to like five chicks total in your lifetime you mm -hmm. had like extreme approach anxiety you were telling yeah, me at the beginning of the program yeah, yeah. um how old are you uh 23 23 now yeah three old okay and you were ready to give up on on pickup and cold approach and like yeah, just... yeah. 
I was just you're, like, fuck this. And you're, yeah. I think you're cool with us putting this out there. Like, you were uh, a virgin when you came on the program. Yeah, yeah. So he was... Okay, so you were, like, pretty much brand new to Cold Approach, but you had watched yeah. different theory videos online, and, and you yeah. wanted to take program... Well, here, I'll let, I'll let you explain all this, but... So what... Would you want to give, like, your background first? Like, where you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, well, I'm from London, obviously, and I've always been in London. So I was born in a wheelchair. I have um, cerebral palsy, which is to do with, like, oxygen deprivation. So basically, I didn't get enough oxygen when I was a baby and shit like that. So, yeah. And, um... So you've yeah. never... You, Born like handicapped from birth, you were never. Yeah. You've never. So I never. Walk. Yeah, I never been able to walk or anything like that. But it's more like the nuanced stuff that gets in in your way, like the other stuff that comes along with walking, rather than the walking itself, which bothers you, you know, socially. So. What do you I mean? was quite. I don't know. Like obviously, social people, you become ostracized, and then your, uh, your um, your anxiety becomes worse and shit like that. Yeah. Like your program helps me like get over shit like that. It's still there, like lingers forever. Yeah. But with your like mindset goals and shit like that, you sort yeah. of yeah. You're able to, I think, like so. You got you pulled the stripper. That girl that we have on the infield, she was probably yeah. like eight five nine. One of the one of the other students thought she was the hottest chick in the venue. Yeah. I'd probably have like she was pretty, probably, probably yeah. about like a thousand people. Had a bit of a belly though. Yeah. Slight, yeah, slight older. belly, but she had nice tits and ass that yeah. you grabbed and. <laughs> You had, how many how many phone numbers did you get on the program over three days? You got. I think I got at least at least like eleven. I think. Okay. I think six every, but I might have got more, but I kept losing them because I'm a bit. <laughs> I kept fucking losing them because I didn't put it in the right way. Oh that's yeah. My, yeah. Oh, that's fun. You had some of them written down, and you were mm, you weren't yeah. you were mixing up some of the girls and shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's what yeah. No, it was cool. You had a you had a really perfect view. Like when you were like going through the the venues, you were like yeah. fucking eye level with all the asses and shit. We were we were we were having you like block like, <laughs> block moving sets and shit with the chair. Yeah. <laughs> do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.